Hello and welcome to this demo. Today we're going to talk about Centrify Identity Service and I'm going to focus on the user experience. I'll show you how end users can get SSO from their, their premises by leveraging you know, their Kerberos credentials in Active Directory. I'm going to show you how they can also access uh, their resources through mobile devices, how they can access the portal from outside their um, environment, how we can protect applications or access using multi-factor authentication, how they can uh, leverage the multilingual capabilities of the platform, and how they can get true SSO in mobile devices and applications. Uh, we're also going to show you how uh, users can leverage the internal password wallet, how they can get self-service to their mobile devices for the purposes of mobile device container or application management. And finally, we'll see some of the other self-service capabilities as well. The experience of uh, Centrify Platform Stars is very simple. If you're on-premise, all you need to do is you know, open your browser and uh, you have the ability to access the, the portal with SSO. It's not necessarily that users access the Centrify portal because users can have their own portal. Perhaps they already invested on a SharePoint-based portal. Um, users can access applications directly from here. What you'll see here is that I can access an application like Salesforce directly uh, using uh, SharePoint without the need of going to the, to the actual um, portal itself. So uh, from an SSO perspective, if you're on-premise and you've been authenticated by Active Directory, your experience is very seamless. In the case, uh, um, I'm going to switch to my environment here, uh, my actual corporate environment, and you can see that all the applications that I have enabled, the experience is going to be very consistent but really important. The platform is supported today for more than 15 languages. If, if I were to be, for example, a Japanese person uh, and I needed uh, access to the portal and all the menus in, in Japanese, all I need to do is change the preferences on my browser and notice right away that all my characters are going to be changed. So today we support more than 15 languages in the platform by default. Um, let's go back to English here and let's talk, let's talk about self-service to applications. Applications uh, connections can be initiated, like I told you, from the from uh, the um, from the portal. This is what is called an identity provider initiated connections. Notice in here that I have Office 365, I have uh, Salesforce, and what is the experience? The experience is SSO to those applications. Very simple. But the benefit of using an identity as a service platform is that you don't need the federated infrastructure or in some instances the directory synchronization infrastructure required. Take Office 365 for example. Most organizations have to deploy their sync infrastructure or ADFS infrastructure. At a minimum, that means two servers on premise, two servers in the DMZ, dealings with certificates, knowledge and all that stuff. With Centrify that's not needed. Um, in addition, if you need to provide mobile ready access, users have the ability to provide those capabilities very simply by using the Centrify mobile app. So my experience is going to be always the same on my mobile application um, as well. So if I needed access to Box, my experience will be SSO to Box regardless of me going through my mobile device or through a rich client. This is very convenient for organizations because often you know, having these jointed solutions doesn't make up for a really good experience on mobile devices. Same thing for mobile applications. This is supported as well. Another benefit of self service is the ability to enforce policy uh, at different levels. For example, we use Concur as Centrify. And uh, one of the things that has happened is that uh, multi factor authentication has been enabled for that application. Notice that mo the multiple ways multi factor can be delivered. This is the mobile authenticator that is in this application. And notice that the mobile authenticator has one-time password uh, token capabilities. It also uh, provides an email link if needed, an SMS text, if enabled, a security question that the user can answer, and finally, a voice call to a visually impaired person. Um, I'm going to use the mobile authenticator because you know a multi-factor authentication solution should not be only about OTP. It should be smarter than that. So I'm going to press press next, and what's going to happen is I'm going to get a, a notification on my screen, and it's saying, "Hey, you know, you requested access from this IP address and from this location. Is this true?" And I, at that point, I can say, "Approve or deny." This is the geofencing capabilities that are able to be used in the, in the uh, by this solution in multiple contexts. In this case, I can say, "Approve," 
and through RESTful APIs, the OTP code is going to be submitted. If I need an old school you know, submission in which I can just type in the code, I can actually get it from the authenticator as well. So from an application perspective, connections can be directly from the, uh, from the portal or directly from your existing intranet, or you can go directly to the application. For example, and this is really a, an example on where uh, Centrify protects uh, um, applications. So what is the problem with applications today, right? Those SaaS applications that an end user, because the boundary of the data center is extended, perhaps an end user has been uh, let go of the company or no longer should have access to an application, they could try to go home. And for example, in the case of Office 365, I have a user, Fred Thomas. Fred Thomas is not allowed to use um, uh, Office 365. Perhaps he wants to go home and say, let, you know, let, me, let me just go ahead and give it a try. When I press tab in here, Office 365 knows that the IDP is Centrify. So it's going to go back and notice what it's going to say right away. Hey, you, you haven't been uh, granted access to this application. This is really important because what you want is a solution that will protect your applications and data. Let's talk about self-service for mobile, mobile devices. So one of the benefits of uh, using Centrify is that Centrify provides self-service for end users to enroll their devices and to manage their devices. For example, one of the settings that has been delivered to my, to my uh, mobile device here is my mailbox. All my mailbox settings have been delivered, including also Wi-Fi and uh, uh, VPN settings for my device. You don't have to use Centrify for this. You may have a solution today, but perhaps the cost of your solution today is going to be the cost of, you know, comparable to the cost of Centrify altogether. So, what are the platforms that you can perform management? Mac OS devices, like as you can see here, my Mac. I could do a firmware reset or a firmware lock of the device if needed. Um, in the case of iOS, you can see my phone on the right here. If I were, for example, to lose my phone in a cab, notice that I have location awareness if needed. This is important. Only the end user can see the location, and end users can actually uh, opt out of, of tracking devices. This is important in the context of privacy. If I were to lose that device and I wanted to, for example, do a lock screen command, really easy to send a lock screen command because it's supported natively by the, by the platform. But we have other more sophisticated devices, like for example, Samsung Knox enabled devices that have containers. This is where the mobile container capability comes in place. Typically, your administrator will, will set up the settings and applications inside, inside the container. If you were in that same scenario in which you lost the, cab, the, the phone in a cab, you can just remove the container, limiting the exposure of the organization, and then you can try and give it a, try, a, a shot to, to recover that phone from the, ta the ca taxi company. Finally, other devices like uh, Windows devices can be enabled or disabled for SSO, and they can provide those capabilities as well. Other, other self-service capabilities that are built into this platform is the ability to get self-service password reset for multiple identities. For example, my identity comes from Active Directory. If I were to forget my password, I can actually uh, invoke the self-service password reset workflow here that is going to request that I provide an additional factor of authentication for me to be able to perform the self-service uh, or password reset. This is uh, available for Active Directory identities, LDAP identities, and cloud identities. And again, um, as, a, as a recap, Centrify Identity Service, from a user perspective, allows users to have self-service to their apps. So, and initiated the connections through Kerberos and SSO using on-premise. They can access applications that are user password by using uh, the password wallet capability. Uh, they can access federated applications and organizations do not need to put additional infrastructure for this. They have the ability to uh, perform, uh, have the same access using their mobile device as well. Finally, in the case of so service for mobile devices, you have the ability to enroll a device and provide a mobile co device container and application management, as well as self-service password resets if needed.